future has a lot of questions If you look, you can see them everywhere Use your mind to define energy and time It's more than just some numbers on a page Let's go, let's go Vectors, friction, motion Let's go, let's go It's a lot more fun with a little commotion Curiosity is the remedy Dive into life, Dr. Kama Cannon. I can't wait to do this. Hey, you must be the professor. And you must be Dr. Cannon, the Director of Education and Dive Safety Officer. Is that right? Yes, it is. Well, I hear that your scuba sessions actually start with a pool party. What do you think? I brought all my stuff. <laughs> oh, well, it's not actually that kind of pool party, but I like that outlook. Here's what we're going to do. Let's okay. get you some dive gear. All right, let's go. Absolutely. So first you're going to want to take your BC, your buoyancy compensator, and attach it to your tank with your big strap. Okay. And then you'll also attach the safety strap just for a little precaution in case this one has any issues. Then you're going to want to attach your first stage, which has a ton of hoses coming out and I'll show you each one. Yeah. So this is your primary regulator. It's what you use most of the time when you're diving. Okay. This is your secondary. It's just a backup for yourself or your buddy if there were to be an emergency. And on this side, it's connected to your inflator hose, which can be inflated like that uh -huh. and deflated like that. Very and that'll help cool. control your buoyancy underwater. Okay. So how much you're floating up and down. Yes. And finally, you've got your gauge, which tells you how much air you have. And some also have a compass function or a depth gauge. Very cool. All right. And the reason that we have our first stage is just to reduce the pressure of the air coming from the tank so that you can breathe it successfully while you're underwater. Very cool. All right. Well, thanks for sharing all that. What else do I need to know before I go scuba diving? A good place for you to go would be to Marina and Cameron's buddy check, right over this way. Okay, let's go with Sco. Hey guys, can you help Professor Sco with a buddy check? Of course. Okay, Hello. thank you. Hey, Professor Sco. Can you walk me through it, please? Of course. So we do a buddy check every time we go diving to understand what our buddy has and so we're prepared for it. So Marina, go ahead and walk with your okay. gear. So I have in my gauge, pressure gauge, I have 2,900 psi, so that's the amount of air I can breathe underwater. And then I'm going to have two weights in my trim pockets, so this is going to help me with my position underwater. And then I'm going to have another two pounds on each pocket that here. And I'll have a, a total of eight pounds, which is going to help me go down because 
our wetsuit is um, it's buoyant. <laughs> um, I also have a little pocket right here with a mesh. So if I need to, like, if I find any debris, I'll put it down here. Very cool. Yeah, and I am not carrying any sea snips or any uh, compass. And that's pretty much my gear here. Okay, so on my gear, uh -huh. I'm starting off with 3,000 PSI. I have a secondary regulator in case of emergencies. Okay. I keep two one pound weights in my back trim pockets. Now, how do you both know how much weight to keep in your BC? It's, it's kind of a, a hit or miss deal. So you go out there, okay. you dive a lot, and you figure out what you need. Okay, perfect. I keep two three pound weights in my pockets. I also keep a safety reel and surface marker buoys in case of emergencies underwater. So I can send that up and the captain will know where I'm at. Okay. I also keep a noise signaling device in case I lose my buddy. Uh -huh. They can hear that underwater. So our gear is kind of the same, but different in little ways. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Of course. Hey, Cora. Uh -huh. Hey. I just got this new Mara's Puck Pro dive computer. Can you tell me how to use it and set it up? Absolutely. So on the Mara's Puck Pro, there's just one button. On some computers, they have more. But for this one, all you have to do is click it, and it's on. Cool. It'll tell you the time. We have it set in 24-hour time. So right now, it is 637. And it'll also give you other information about your depth, surface interval time, and the temperature outside. This can also be changed just by pressing the button again. And you can look at mode, set, log, etc. There's a whole bunch of functions that you can use. Why, why is it so important that a scuba diver has a dive computer? Well, back in the day before these existed, people used dive tables and things like that to kind of set up their dives so that they would be diving in their, within their safe limits okay. so that you wouldn't get decompression sickness. Back then they called it the bends, but decompression sickness is more of an over-encompassing. Can you explain to our viewers what decompression sickness is? Sure, so when you spend too much time at depth, at um, different levels, your body absorbs too many gases, uh -huh. which can cause all sorts of different health concerns from bubbles in your blood or your arteries, or even in your lungs. Okay. So there are a lot of safety precautions there, and dive computers are super helpful because they tell you exactly how long and how deep you can be down while still diving safely. Very cool. Well, thank you both. Yeah, here you go. It should be all set up. Thank you, Kara. Yeah. I think we're ready to go scuba diving. Let's do let's it. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Vectors, friction, motion. Let's go, let's go. It's a lot more fun with a little commotion. Curiosity is the remedy. All you really need is velocity. I think we're ready to go scuba diving. 